Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing very, very well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information and insight. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, the first two cards are the awareness of the week. So we, we begin with the four of wands. And with wands, we're thinking about maybe Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we see the four pillars here and we see the couple raising the flowers. This is a time to celebrate. This could suggest that you're going to be attending a celebration, a party, a get together. Often we associate this with milestones, a marriage, an engagement, maybe a baby shower, uh, weddings, promotions. So time to spend with friends, time to acknowledge uh, the happiness either for yourself or for someone in your life, in your circle. And often when we're walking through these four portals, it's a sense of freedom. It's a sense of the new path that's begin beginning as they're walking away from the home, from the new path together. So Four of Wands, one of the happiest cards. Some say it's a marriage card or, or looking for stability, but it certainly represents the milestones that we celebrate in life and the coming together of people to share, to reflect, to have fun, to enjoy each other, and to pay tribute if this is someone that you may know or if it's you. So with this Four of Wands, quite interesting, we have the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups, we see the man walking away from his Eight, of, his eight Full Cups under nighttime, the moon, into the mountains with just his walking stick. So there are a couple things here to be aware of. And that could simply be that um, you are leaving a level of comfort and of life behind in order to find satisfaction, in order to find what's going to make you feel fulfilled. Whether this is a new location, a new relationship, a new job, there's something that hasn't quite been right, and you might feel that you have to get away. Now, does it mean this has to be permanent? This could be that maybe you need time alone to think about things. And so you could be taking a trip. And for some of you, you may very well be taking a weekend trip to, trip, or uh, just a few days away from your normal routine as you consider things. But the Eight of Cups is about movement and it's about walking away. That whatever has been happening here, despite the abundance, despite the, not, the Eight Cups, excuse me, you are going to, you are thinking about moving on from this because it's not bringing you what you had hoped for. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles in terms of guidance, the King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles is very smart, very successful kind, considerate, but very, very aware of abundance and of creating wealth and maintaining wealth and security and stability and foundations like that. You can see he's got his pentacle in his hand and he has all the grapes and this greenery. He has more than enough. And so perhaps this is a move toward where you're hoping to improve your, your comfort level, your security, your foundation. 
When we see a court card like the King of Pentacles, this could be someone that you are talking to. It could be an advisor, a money person, someone who can help you and help you get to a better place. Or this can suggest that, you know, this is you getting a hold of things, getting in charge of your financial and your home situation, career, money, investments, property, that if you have to leave a location in order to enrich yourself, that that's certainly a possibility. But the King of Pentacles is all about comfort and success and putting in the hard work, the devotion, the um, common sense approach into gaining and building security and abundance. So with this King of Pentacles, we have the youthful energy of this Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is seeking excitement and adventure and action. So when we see this Page of Wands, there's a sense of wanting to become involved, wanting to increase perhaps your networks, your, your social network in order to help you. And you could very well need contacts or need to be around more successful people. And this is about following passions, but wanting to get involved, wanting to dive right in, to jump right in, to learn and to have the opportunity to engage and to be a part of something, something that you want to do. And it's a related to resources, work, career, achievements, Okay, so in terms of possible outcomes, we see the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is a card that suggests that this fella here with the bandage on his head, with this nervous look on his face, looking over his shoulder in this one direction as if to say, what's next? He's been through the ringer. He's probably tired. But the important piece of this is that whatever has been going on through this sense of celebrations and the thinking of leaving and also this action piece is here uh, of protecting yourself. That as you move forward, it's going to be necessary for you to be watchful, to be on guard perhaps, and to really do what it takes in order to keep yourself still standing. This card suggests grit and determination, perseverance. So in order to, to become more financially successful, to build more resources, to build a firmer foundation, uh, you know, it takes foresight, it takes hard work, and it takes a, a sense of toughness. And this is what this card is. It's the toughness that's needed to be. You're hanging in there. You're not quitting. You are going to persevere into finding this place of, of comfort and abundance, but in the right way for you, instead of maybe feeling that you're not in the right situation here. It's going to be the right move for you to follow your passions and possible outcomes feel that it's going to be working in your favor. The Ace of Cups is about uh, this potential here for a relationship, for success and happiness within your life. Focused on your emotions, focused on how you share your emotions, show people that you care, how you interact, how you love yourself. And so with this Ace of Cup, Cups, it's a possibility. It's not a given, but it's a possibility that you are going to either meet someone who's going to be just the right fit or find something that you love professionally that is going to be the right fit that's going to bring you happiness and delight and joy. Not going to be easy, but that's life. And sometimes in or we have to give something up in order to get to our highest self to, to find what's really going to bring meaning into our life. Very interesting. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. 
And uh, this is going to be an affirmation for the week. Great adventure. Take a risk. Venture forward. And for you, this is taking a risk, doing something perhaps that is exciting and maybe scary, but will ultimately be fulfilling. And the risk sometimes is worth it because you don't want to look back in life and say, I wish I had tried that, but I didn't because uh, it's prob probably better to try it and to see what comes. So now I have a card. I have a card. This Oracle card is going to uh, give us a message for healing for the week. I think that um, people are in need of some healing lately. Creative writing. Archangel Gabriel. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen, an article or book. So journaling is a wonderful way to let ideas and feelings flow. And sometimes we can work things out when we put pen to paper or we sit behind the computer and start just typing and letting things come out. It's very cathartic. So creative writing, uh, write the story that you hope to write. And finally, I'm going to choose a card for love and we'll get the message for love. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Allow your emotions to flow. Allow them to pour over the cup. And if it means having a good cry, have a good cry. If it means, you know, uh, tossing something or throwing something that's not going to, you know, uh, break down your house, but you get the picture, let your emotions uh, come through and let them be valid for you. And it, um, you know, they will pass. They will, you will move on from whatever it is and you'll get back into the routine, but it's important to honor your emotions in all aspects, your relationships and for yourself. This is what I have for you for the week and I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, Please subscribe if you haven't already, like, share, or comment. I hope you have an amazing week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.